hi friends friends today i wanna share with you mri wrist joint study i want to tell about patient position for mri wrist study and uh, protocols which have to acquire during the wrist joint firstly i want to tell about patient position the head first prone with arm up like a superman position like this superman position the position the wrist in the wrist coil on the small flex coil and whichever coils you have to acquire mri wrist study and you have to put their immobil immobilization pad over the wrist and uh, which the patient uh, will feel very comfort and other way the give uh, give cushion under the chest for the extra comfort for the patient and uh, and uh, you will have to follow the uh, this technique and after that uh, whenever you get proper positions and uh, you will center the laser beam localizer over the right wrist joint and uh, the absolutely your position will be correct and the main thing is whenever you will have to acquire the wrist study the main uh, the first thing you will have to remember the patient position is very mandatory very most before beginning the scan the mri wrist study and mri a uh, position of the wrist is very important right and another way i want to tell about the protocols the main thing is the protocol which have to acquire the wrist study i want to share with you mri console system you will have to see here mri uh, console system and this is a three plane localizer here is a coronal and this one is a sagittal section and uh, last one is axial section a three plane localizer must be taken at the beginning to localize and the plane the sequences localizer are usually completed uh, uh, in less than 25 second and uh, the localizer is look like t1 bit low resolution scans are used for this purpose like it's it approximately 20, less than 25 second you uh, have to acquire and after that you will have to main planning like coronal pd axial and sagittal sections right to friends one by one i want to share i want to share a proto, uh, sequence in the i will open the sequences one by one like uh, first one i want to share this one is a localizer and first sequences i will have to i will open this is a coronal pd fat set sequences this is very most important sequences whenever you will have to perform um, any musculoskeletal mri this is a pd fat set sequences is very important because the pd uh, fat set is totally suppressed the signal of fat set is high point intense the other signals like except bones and other uh, effusion like uh, any fluid any uh, fractures any uh, like uh, findings whenever you have to see here the it's look hyper intense in the pd fat set sequences this is a coronal pd fat set sequences the plane is coronal and the sequence name is proton density fat suppressions this is a proton density fat set sequences it is a scaphoid and here is a some hyper intense the mid of the scaphoid bone and this is called fractures of the scaphoid bone it's look hyper intense and if fusion look hyper intense and bone look hypo and it's the sequence name is called proton density and the whenever you have to acquire and the next you have to acquire the coronal t1 weighted sequences the findings looks hypo intense in t1 weighted sequence you will have to see here the findings of hypo intense of scaphoid fractures and if fusion looks high point tens this is a coronal t1 weighted sequences and the rest and this is a coronal t1 weighted sequence and the next you have to acquire axial t1 pd fat sets is axial pd fat set sequences this is the same the plan plan is different this is axial 
and earlier you had uh, you have to see like a coronal and this is a axial pd fat set sequences this is axial pd fat set sequence sequences and the next you have to acquire coron a sas pd fat set in on the three plane like sagittal coronal and axial so you have to acquire pd fat set on sagittal coronal and axial and the other sequences rest like t2 and t1 it's depend upon its uh, demand upon our radiologist and uh, which sequence you have to use to acquire then it will depend upon the radiologist and this in i have to acquire like coronal uh, axial t1 and uh, after sas pd i uh, i acquired i performed uh, sas t2 weighted sequences this is a sas t2 weighted sequences and the last sequences i have i uh, performed uh, I acquired axial T1 weighted sequences. This is the this is the common sequences. I am also acquired when I uh, performed this scan. The you you guys you, you you will have to acquire these sequences. Your your study will be absolutely correct. And uh, before beginning the scans, but it's protocol. It's depend upon our radiologist, which sequences. uh they have acquired to uh, get a proper report then it's depend upon the sequence but basic protocols is this which i told you like core pd fat set core t1 and axial pd fat set and sas pd fat set and sas t2 and axial t1 weighted sequences i hope you all guys you have to understand my video and uh, i hope uh, you understood and uh, thanks for watching if you uh, really like if you really uh, like this video you will have to like and share this video thank you thank you guys